Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play. This is Season 5, Episode 9. And I logged in here and I'm like, whoa, what a peaceful morning it is to just be playing some Minecraft. I mean, we've got our storage sorted. We've got all our stuff down here, our kitchen, our little bedroom. It is all fantastic. And most importantly, we are on Episode 9 and we are not yet dead. I mean, life is great, isn't it? But then I remembered we're not quite done with making everything pretty and brilliant and great. We've got over here, we've got, um, what's it called? General Farm Island. Oh yes, very aptly titled, very catchy. And we kind of did not make this look very pretty, did we? I think it's time we start doing that. I'm not sure how though, because this is kind of a mess. Though I do remember we need to put glass in front of this. That's very important. Let's see, we also need to make sure the animals have a little bit more space to roam. Right now they're kind of cramped down there. So maybe we'll get some really nice fences set up. And perhaps we can automate this as well. That would be great. Yeah, I'd love that. Well, that kind of sounds like I've got a plan. Let's go do that and not trample the crops. What's nice about it, everything I need is just going to be in here. Ooh, sand, we need that. We need to smell that up, of course. We need some fence materials. Well, that's not going to cut it, of course. Let's just bring a whole bunch of spruce. Let's see if this will be enough. Oh, yeah, that could get us somewhere. That could get us somewhere. We need some of these ones as well, I suppose. Let's grab some. There you go. I think it's pretty nice. Um, let's go get the uh, they get to get the get to get the glass cooking, um, and also let's just split this in two a little bit faster that way. There we go, and of course it'd be nice to decorate a little bit as well. Though I don't seem to have too much cobblestone, which is a material that I'd like to use. Well, let's just grab a whole bunch of everything then. Should be good. Should be good. I have a stone cutter as well, right? Those are grinders. Now I need a stone cutter. Do I really not have a stone cutter anywhere? I don't appear to. Let's go see if I can make one. Which means I need iron from our secret stash down here. I think that's how you craft it anyway. Um, stone cutter. How do you... Have I not unlocked that recipe yet? Oh no, I don't know how to craft that. Uh oh, uh, that's an issue. Isn't it something like that? Oh boy, I really don't know. Oh no! Well, I guess we'll be doing without a stone cutter then. Or maybe I can just get a little nostalgic and look it up on the wiki. Oh, I see, I looked it up, I see, I see. We need smooth stone for that. Do we have that? We do not. All right, um, I guess we're just smelting up some stone as well then. Uh. You won't go in there, will you? No. Okay, uh... Let's get rid of that, and then put that in instead. That is a little much. Because we really only need three. There we go. Can we now make a stone cutter? It still won't show up here, but I think the recipe... Oh, I, 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 I put away the iron for some reason. Now it should show up here. Right? There you go, there it is, there it is. Okay, we got a stone cutter. Wow, adventure. What else do we need? What else do we need? We'll be needing, of course, some pistons and some redstone, but perhaps we can do that later. Do I have anything for pistons? No, I do not, but I do have redstone. Um, and that's what I have. Okay, very good. We'll get us somewhere. Let's go grab this glass real quick. And I think we'll just be off. Oh, it's getting night, and I don't actually have a bed that I carry around anymore. I used to. I used to carry this bed around. Do I have... I don't think I have wool either. Which is fine, of course, because I'm realizing we've got sheep over on the island. But no shears. I need shears. Also, why is that open? That's not supposed to be open. It's supposed to be secret. Wait, don't I have shears at all? How come I don't have shears at all? I thought I'd have shears by now. Need to go grab some iron for shears then. Oh, and we can sleep while we're at it. There we go. Now we can go. Let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, and I'm thinking <laughs> this is the last time I'm going back. I'm thinking we need something to lure the the ooh, the, the the animals with. So we need some uh, wheat, I guess. And um, well, that seems to be the only thing I have. So that's interesting. 
We'll find some carrots. We'll find some carrots and some seeds. Now, first of all, because of course it's only very little trouble, we make sure that we put the glass in here so that none of the sugar cane can ex escape. The sugar cane are our little prisoners and they can't go anywhere without our permission. Has this harvested anything? Nope. Then, let's see if we can get the fences in. What's a good place for all the animals to roam? Well, the sheep, of course, are going to be going to have to be somewhere over here where the grass is. So I guess it kind of means we need to chop down some of these trees. So let's go do that then, I guess. There we go. Now we just wait for all the leaves to go away. It's going to be a lot easier if they're not connected to anything. There we go. In the meantime already, of course, we can start making a little pen for the cows, of course. Well, that would be a good pen. Well, I guess a little bit like this and a little bit like that. And then I'm going to say they have plenty of space. This is good enough. Of course, they need a little gate. So let's put in a little gate. Like a so, like a so. Let's go grab the wheat. Let's see if they want to get out. Come on, boys. Or girls, probably. Seems more accurate. And that's an issue that I sort of predicted. So let's just get rid of this one over here. And we'll put that right back. Just as soon as they're all in. Um, there you go. Oh, that was not the most clever thing for me to do in that moment. There. Look at that, we got a cows in one place. That's very nice. Let's now see about making that sheep's pen over here, I guess. It's a good place for it. There you go, there you go. Let's give this one to a little door. There you go, there you go. Now let's see about the sheep. Those are chickens. Ooh, I do kind of want those eggs. Just so I can throw the eggs right back at them. Oh, no sheep came out of it. No, of course not. What? <laughs> no chicken came out of it. Oh, no. Let's see if you'll want to get in. Oh, they are so nice. Look at that. They just went in at once. That's what? You never really see that with animals. You know what? Let's give them a little light because they've been so nice to us. Oh, well, okay, sure. Let's have the light over there. And one over here. And you know what? Just because I'm in a good mood today, let's give the cow some light too. There you go. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Now we still need a little pen for the pigs and one for the chickens. Hello, pigs. Um, what do we do? What do we do? Well, you know what? Let's just have them all connected like this. I think that'd be really cool. Of course, this too needs a little door. Now the problem is... I do not have any carrots, but I might have a carrot over here. Oh, look, those look like they've grown. So let's go grab some of these over here. Oh, that's really, really nice. Oh, there's some more over here. And one over here. Ooh. Lovely, lovely. Getting loads of carrots now. And let's go see if these pigs won't um, just care at all about a new pig pen. Come on, little friends. Let's go. Oh, well, those two are fighting a little bit. You're not sure? Come on, let's see if we can get you in one at a time. There you go. Really nice. You know what? You've been good. We'll give you food. And, of course, a little torch. Now, really, we just need to find a good place for the chickens. And because I'm mostly interested in the eggs, I sort of figure... We can um, put them on hoppers, I think. I don't really have the materials to make a hopper. And so we're just going to have to do that later. Oop. What I did sort of figure we can do is we can just kind of um, make like a cobblestone wall all around here. I mostly think it looks good, but it might protect our crops as well a little bit. Not sure what from, but there you go. It's it's a thing. And then we'll just go around with the slabs and the stairs. Just to give it some extra detail, some extra spice, if you will, right? 
Oh, and this is really nice. We could put a little fence there. Fence gate. Oh yeah, this is this is really coming together and I'm not even trying all that much. Oh, is it getting night? It looks like it's getting night again. Which of course is totally fine. Um let's just do that and then uh that I guess. Oh, oh I, well, if we're going to do this, and we also need to have this, that, and then we put that there, and we put that there. And look at that, that's very lovely, isn't it? Um, it's night. Let's go see if we can shear one of those sheep. And let's go see if we can make a bed. And I've forgotten that I've moved the sheep over here. Oh, well, that's right in there, isn't it? How many wool do we have? Oh, I need one more. Thank you, thank you kindly. Mostly need a crafting table now, which I already have on me. Let's go see about a bed. There we go. Nice! And this will be the bed we carry around with us. There you go. Now, I wasn't quite done with this. Of course, we have this side left to go. This looks a little bit weird and ugly, in my honest and humble opinion. There we go. Just a tiny little bit like this. It just spruces up your entire place, doesn't it? And it looks like we've got some more carrots to harvest. We've got a lot of potatoes as well, I think. I always find it hard to tell when they're ready. Oh, those were definitely ready. Yeah, it's the really, really tall ones, right? Yeah, you see that one is really, really tall. There you go. That one as well. Got a couple over here. Yeah, this is so lovely. We got 30 whole potatoes. Wow, what are we going to do with that? We'll, we'll have a feast with that. Oh, and we got a pumpkin as well. Wow. Looks like it will be a bit before this harvests. This, of course, will only harvest when this one is fully grown. But that is fine, of course. Because, of course, we've got all of this still. I mean, why not build automatic farms when you're going to do it manually anyway? Now, as far as decorating goes, I think really all there is left is some of these over here. That's just also... Give this uh, the same treatment as that over there. Ooh, oh, two on the top of the one another. Well, that's 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 risky. That's very fancy. I believe I'm now a pirate, a farmer, and an art critic. So bold. So bold, that one. And now I'm out of stairs, which is alright, because we've got a stone cutter. And with it, we can cut some stairs, stairs, stairs out of the stone. There you go. Ooh, ooh, look at that. That's a fancy move. Just flip it upside down. Wow, wow, yeah. I, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. There you go, another two on top. Wow! How does he come up with it? How does he do it? There we go. And in the time we've been here, some of the pumpkins have grown, which is really lovely, of course. Now we're going to do the same over here. Oh, but the sugar canes are kind of... Oh, we can just go around the sugar canes. Let's pretend... Let's just pretend the sugar cane is part of the whole exhibit, right? There you go, doesn't that make it look a lot nicer, all these stone walls? From now on, I'm no longer Captain Itchybeard the Pirate, no, no, no. You can now call me Captain Itchybeard the Stone Wall Builder, or something like that, I don't know. I think I still prefer my title as Pirate. Oh, this needs some details still, doesn't it? It's just screaming, give me details, give me details. Ooh, ooh, ooh here's, here's a risky move, there you go, wow. Now let's see, it's animal breeding time. Let's go breed the sheeps first. And let's go sh breed the pigs first, or second then I suppose. Oh, that one is still very little. We can't breed that one. That would be weird. And now I don't have enough for all of you, so you'll be the next. You, you'll get next turn, okay? Now we need to do something with this. Um, which of course, first of all, is harvesting. No, I don't really know how to redstone this. What I want is if I press a button, and I've seen people do this before, what I want... If I press a button, I want it to harvest it all. And I believe that... Oh, hello. You grew. And I believe the way that that works is you hit um, the button and it activates pistons, which pushes all of this up. And then pistons at the top, they push it back down again instantly. And that is going to harvest all the cocoa beans, because now they're no longer on the wood, I think. Also, I think we're going to need a bigger chest. Also, also, I don't think there really is a need for more cocoa beans, because what are we going to do with that many cocoa beans? But we're going to automate it anyway, because it is a fun challenge. And I'm a pirate still, 
and a cobblestone wall builder. And pirates do not shy away from a good challenge. First, of course, I'll need pistons. And I think I'll be needing six of them because I've got three of those pillars. And each of those pillars needs two pistons. One to push up, one to push down. And I've only got five iron here. Do I have any more, please? Oh, I do have hoppers. But we can work on the chickens then too. Do I really not have any more iron? I need one more iron. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, um... Well, I suppose we're going mining then. Not exactly what I had in mind, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I just need one piece of iron. I'm going to dump all the things I don't need in here. What I will need is some coal. Do I have coal anywhere? Perhaps in here still? Yes, I can make torches. Absolutely fantastic. While we're going mining, apparently. Um, going to try and find some iron. Oh boy, did not expect to be doing this today. Of course, of course, we'll be going into our beautiful entrance to our beautiful mine that we built a couple of episodes ago. I think it's like two episodes ago. I still love the entrance. It's great. I love it. Don't look at this, though. I haven't finished this bit yet. Oh, and I'm also way too far. Let's go in uh, this direction. Oh, there's a zombie somewhere. Oh, and this shovel is about to break, too. Oh, yeah. That, well, that was that. So much for the shovel. There's some coal, which I also don't mind grabbing. Let's go do that real quick. Oh, there's a whole bunch of coal here. Oh, and it's so annoying because it's going to be underneath all the gravel. Oh, that's annoying. And there are a lot of zombies around somewhere. Kind of sounds like it would be a spawner. There's that many. I kind of want to find that. But I also kind of want to not die. So let's not do that then, maybe? But if it's a dungeon, there's going to be good loot in there. Oh no. There might actually be iron in there. Oh, here's iron. And really, this is all we needed, so, um... Yeah. Going back home now. Should I go check out those zombies? Perhaps it's a big cave. I'm really not sure what to do here. Like, they're really close. But where are they? Oh, here's a cave. Oh, this is where they are. Oh, hello. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 you fight each other. Where's my shield? Where's my shield? I need my shield. Oh, there's another skeleton. Oh, they actually managed to hit me a couple times now. Wait! The zombie won? The zombie never wins! What happened there? Zombies never win in a fight against the skeleton because the skeletons, they always keep the zombies at a distance. I've never seen that before, I don't think. There's more iron here. A lot more iron here. I haven't cleared this out enough to be sure that I'll be safe. So let's go have a look. Okay, 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 okay. There's quite a lot around here. But mostly we should be safe because really only spiders are going to come through here, right? So I'm just going to leave this as is. And just say that we're safe. Uh-oh. Well, now I've flooded it all. There is some more iron up there, but I don't really feel like grabbing it because of water and it's just going to be annoying and I've got what I need. And so for like the very first time ever in this entire series, let's just quit before I die. Uh, where was my exit again? Is it, is it? This is it. Yeah. Hey, look at that. We went on an extra adventure. We explored a thing and we didn't die. There you go. Let's put all this in the smelter. And then we should be able to make some really, really, really nice pistons. Right? Now let's have a look. What do we really, really, really need to trigger all those pistons? We need some redstone, of course. Probably a button as well, which we can make from the wood. All right, so uh, let's have a look. We can put piston down here. And we can put piston down here. And then we can put piston down here. And then we can connect it all with the redstone. I probably should have made a new shuffle. 
There you go. And now, with the push of this button... All the sugarcane pops up. Pops off, and that's cocoa bean, not sugarcane. And all the pistons move up. Now we need to get them to go down again. Which is uh, easy enough. He said, not really knowing for sure if it's easy enough. So what I've done, what I am doing... Oh, I fell. That's what I'm doing, I'm falling. Uh-oh. Need to get back up there. Or can I do it like this? Maybe I can reach. Let's see, can I reach? Yes, I can reach. There you go, there you go. Now we just need to connect that up with redstone. That should be easy enough. Like so. And then like so. And now if we push... This button that I'm about to make... All of it goes back down. That's kind of what I want. I wish that that was automatic, though. How do we do that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know exactly how to do that. And so for now, we have a system that is manual. Yeah. That's what we're doing. We manually replant these. And when they're done growing, we manually harvest them by clicking that button and then the button all the way on the other side. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect system. Oh, that one is... That one is still triggered. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I can't even reach the button from down here. <laughs> no. Wait. Uh, nope. I can't do it. Okay, okay. This doesn't work. This won't work. I have an idea. It's only popped into my head. And I think it's a good idea. Why does that one... What we're going to do is we're going to move all of these pistons downwards by one. So now you see they are on top of those. Oh, wow, yeah, I placed that one wrong. Uh-huh. Now we can move these ones down by one. Now we have to just make a thing that detects when they've come down. Oh, and also, I still need to connect all of those up. And what this is going to do, first of all, it makes it easier to prep the button. For some reason, that one is working now, which is also great. I suppose it wasn't quite the cleverest to push that button when I just put them put the cocoa beans on the on the, on the trees. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Now we need to find a way to detect when that one is down, which we can do. Oh, I know how. I know how. I know how. I need a repeater. And for a repeater, I need. Why can I not see repeaters? I've crafted repeaters before. Did I not craft one for this? I don't know, I don't know. Um, I'm going to need a repeater though. Um, oh, that's iron, that's really nice. I need cobblestone. That's not true at all, I need smooth stone. Now we just wait on this. There we go, now we got a repeater or two. Well, that should get us somewhere. Do we need a piston as well? I don't think we, we do. Because what we can do is we can detect that something is down if we send a signal through it, right? We can detect that there's a block here when we um, send a signal through. So what we want to do is send a signal through. I don't think that's exactly what I wanted because now that's going to be permanently powered. Um, I don't think that's what I want. Why does that even power that? That doesn't make sense. Okay, um, yeah, maybe this is why we have a repeater, an extra repeater. We can put this on a slab and then do a torch here and then do a repeater over here. Nope, that also powers the piston. Why does that power the piston? Yeah, I have no idea how to do this. Oh boy, I'm going to think on this for a little bit. Um, because isn't that how smart pistons work? Or does that not work in this context? I have no idea. Yeah, okay. I think there is only one thing I can come up with. And that's to use an observer instead of what I was trying to do. That would be a lot easier. I don't know why I didn't do that before. So let's go see if we can make an observer. Or maybe we still have one? 
Let's have a look really all we do then is run this through here. That's the wrong way around. We need to see its little face over here and then when it that receives a signal. Oh I do oh I do have enough. We just sort of run that through everything else. I think that should work. Let's go see if we can push that button over there. Okay, that doesn't work. But did all this receive a signal is my question. Yes, it does appear to be receiving signals. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> oh no, um, yeah, because it's observing itself, of course. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, that's not, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's go grab this. Because this is an easy fix, I know that. Um, we just put it up here. That should do. And again, I did it wrong. Uh-huh. There. There you go. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Okay, that's going to trigger twice, but that's fine. I can I can live with that. So now if we do this. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So that one is still extended. When this one is trying to push up. And so it cannot actually extend up. So this whole system doesn't work. We need to make that button press shorter somehow. Another observer, I think. <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. Eventually we'll get there. Observer. There we go. And now I think we can make this really very easy if we just get rid of this button. Oh, hello. Oh, I want to talk to you in a bit. Let's see, can we get rid of this button? Can we put the observer again the other way around? Like this? Now we actually just put that on top of there. And I think that should work, shouldn't it? Oh yeah, because this... Um okay, okay, see if this works. Nope. Oh, what? I thought that would work. Do we need... Okay, maybe we just need to add some delay here then. Maybe that's what we need. Let's go put some delay on here. Yeah, that should be good enough. Yes! Okay. That's interesting, but we got them going back up and down again. I think this is good enough. I'm going to call it here. Yeah, this is good. It works. It works. We can put cocoa beans on there, which actually I can't because I don't have any. And just for the sake of testing, I'm going to put them all on. This is all working. Okay, we got it. We got it. Got an automated system here. That's really all I needed. I mean, we've also got a big mess in here, but that's fine. I'm not going to complain when it's just working. We were supposed to make everything look prettier today, but eh, I can't complain. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, we are losing two spots over here. Well, I'm going to say it's fine, because we get a lot of cocoa bean anyway. Now, wandering trader, Mr. Sir, do you have anything of value? Oh, go walk around. Do you got anything of value? Oh. No, nothing I don't already have. Oh, blue eyes could be nice. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for some. Okay, yeah, you just disappear. That's fine. You know what? I think that means I'm going to disappear as well. I think it's the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. I had a really good time figuring everything out. Decorating everything. Automating that over there. <gasps> Maybe perhaps this triggered? <gasps> it did! It did! And everything is on the side! Oh no, this is not working well. Well, I guess we'll solve that another time. For now, I hope you've enjoyed and I hope to see you the next time. Bye!